Welcome to the Matricon OPC Calculator RT tutorial. In this tutorial you'll learn the basics of creating and manipulating OPC calculations. Before we get going it's important to understand the components of the calculation package. There is a design environment and a runtime environment. The design environment is where you'll build, manipulate and edit your OPC calculations using the block editor. The runtime environment is where the calculations are actually executed. The runtime environment has both an OPC client and an OPC server. The OPC client connects to external OPC servers to both read data and write data. The OPC server presents a mechanism for presenting the results of the calculations or it serves as a method for bringing data into the calculation package. In this example, we're going to connect to the Matricon OPC simulation server. We're going to perform some basic calculations on the data points in the simulation server and we're going to present the results to the OPC server for calculation. We're then going to view the results with the Matricon OPC Explorer client tool. This is the design environment. This is where you'll create, edit and save calculations. All calculations are built as calculation schematics. We begin by creating a new calculation schematic by pressing this button here. We create a calculation by dropping calculation blocks or logic blocks onto this canvas. We draw wires between the blocks and we're essentially done. Calculations flow from the left where inputs uh, are brought into the calculation to the right where we present our results to outputs. All of the blocks are available under the blocks menu. For this calculation we want to connect to an external OPC server, in this case the simulation server, to bring data into the calculation. There are two types of OPC client blocks. One is a read block where we're going to connect to an external data source, use it as a source for a calculation. And there's an OPC write block where we write the result of a calculation into some external OPC server. For this example we're going to use an OPC read block. Just drop it onto the schematic here. Because I want to connect to two separate individual tags in the simulation server, I really need two individual client read blocks. Now I need to do some type of calculation. So I'm going to select a calculation block. There are many of them in this menu. For this example I'm going to use an operator block. There are many types of operator blocks. I'm going to choose the equation block for simplicity. I can build equations one at a time by using math blocks out of our operator blocks here or to have a more powerful calculation I can use this equation block. Because I have two external OPC items as data sources I really need two inputs on the left of this equation block. I right click the block, select number of pins, increase it from 1 to 2. A calculation is built by dragging wires from one block to another. If you watch the cursor as I go over top of the value output wire on the read block it turns into this cross. I click on the pin and click on the destination pin. I'm going to do the same for the second read item. Now we have not defined the calculation yet nor have we defined what the external OPC items are. We'll get to that in just a minute. Now I need somewhere to post the results of my calculation and in this case I'm going to post them to the OPC server for calculation. Again I choose blocks and I choose my OPC server block and again I have two types of tags or blocks with an OPC server. 
One is an input block where I'm expecting results from an uh, OPC tag in the OPC server, or an output block where I post results for other OPC clients. I'm going to choose the output block. And again, I just click on the output wire of the equation and the input wire of the OPC out block. Notice that all OPC out block, block tags have an enable wire. Individual tags can be enabled and disabled based on logic in the equation. For this calculation, I just want the wire to be on. So I'm going to choose an input block, select on off, click here, connect a wire, I have the basics of my calculation wired. If I double click on the read block, I can select what is the external item I'm interested in using as a data source. These are the local OPC servers installed on my PC right now. I'm going to choose the simulation server as my data source. I'm going to choose this random generated value out of the simulation server and go OK. Now I'm going to take the second tag by double clicking on the second read block and again I'm going to select from the simulation server. I can choose any other OPC server if I wish but for this example I'm going to use the simulation server. And in this case I'm going to use this integer tag. As well, I want my default enable block to be enabled, default output block to be enabled. Now to specify my calculation, I double click the equation block. There is an equation here already, A plus B. I can use any operator in here to define some custom equation. I'll just add the two tags for this example. Now that my calculation is done, I need an output tag to post my results. I need a name for this output tag. And I'm done. Now I need to download the calculation into the cal calculation engine. I'm going to choose slot 0. and I am good. Right now the calculation is being executed in the runtime environment. To view the results of the runtime environment I'll choose display all by right clicking on the canvas. And we see the results of the calculations in real time. Now I'm going to view the results of our calculation in an external OPC client. In this case I'm using OPC Explorer as the client. In this client, I'm going to double click on the Matricon OPC calculation server, which comes as part of the runtime environment, add a group to this OPC server, browse the OPC server's address space, and there is my output tag that I created in the design environment. Now we see the results of our calculation. In summary, we created a basic calculation in the design environment. We downloaded the schematic into the real-time engine. The real-time engine connected to the external OPC server, made the calculations, presented the results into the OPC server for calculation. The external client, the Matricon OPC Explorer, connected to the calculations OPC server and viewed the results. Thank you for taking the time to view this short tutorial. Hopefully after viewing this tutorial you see how easy it is to create calculations with the Matricon OPC Calculator RT.